Hello everyone, Teeny here. I'm back again to share another card project with you. Today we're creating a shaped card and I have to say it's going to be the cutest thing ever. This is called Big Pug. It's from Spellbinders. BB Cameron designed it. She creates the cutest um, collection this month and I'll link the entire collection down below. But this is look how cute this little pug is oh my goodness I'm in love and look how big it is let me take it out and show you the size against an A2 panel let's see this is an A2 card base sometimes my magnets work good sometimes they don't <laughs> but today it's working really good okay but look at how cute so this will fit in an A2 card um, I think it may be just slightly larger than an A2 card base, but I know it'll fit an A2 envelope. So we're going to make a shaped card with this cute little die set. Um, we also have another accessories that goes with the big pug. Um, there's actually a cat die too that this will work with, but this is the cat and pug accessories. It has some cute little elements. You can make some fun holiday glasses. We can create a little bandana. I had a toy poodle. She, um, when I was younger, I originally bought her for my auntie, but auntie said no, she wanted to travel. She didn't want any more poodles. <laughs> so I had um, my little um, poodle. Her name was Honey. And um, this way I figured, I had her when I was really young, so whenever I came home, I'd say, Honey, I'm home. So I thought that'd be a cute little name, <laughs> my little story. Um, but she was a toy poodle. She had to get groomed. And every time they groomed her, they wanted to put a bandana on her, um, which I always told them, no, I don't want a bandana. I always, I always wanted bows in her hair. So I thought we'd make a pug with some bows in its hair, um, maybe with some glasses, too. So... This is the accessories set. I'm also using the stamp set that goes with the entire collection. It's called Cat and Pug Sentiments. So we'll add a sentiment to our shaped card today. So let's jump in and get started by doing some die cutting. I thought we would make a white little pug today. And I'm going to take this outline and then I'm going to I already have a pre-scored and folded top folding card base what I'm going to do is just line it up here and I will run this through my die cut machine and it's not going to complete my pug so to fix that I'm going to die cut out one extra outline with white card stock okay we have it's layering which I just think is adorable so I'm bringing in another piece of cardstock. We'll die cut out the body here and the face. And there's different styles of pugs, but I like the the droopy cheeks of this one. <laughs> so I'm going to die cut this out with some pale gray cardstock. Actually, let's bring. I have a pile here. I have a pile of what I was looking for. Maybe not the pink. Okay, so we have some pale gray. This is Spellbinder's Fog. I'm going to die cut this piece out with fog. Along with, we have this piece that goes below the tongue, which I want to die cut out with some pink cardstock. Let me grab some pink. Okay, we have these two pieces that complete the body. I'll die cut these out with white cardstock also, along with the eyes. We need some black card. There's two pieces. What I love is there's the background and then there's the eye piece. So the circle that has the holes in it, I'll die cut out with some black cardstock. And then just the solid circles here, I'll die cut out with white. Okay, we have the little nose. We're going to die cut out with our black cardstock too. And I want the white for my eyes, so I'll die cut this piece here um, with white cardstock also. We'll layer them together just so we have some dimension. We have the, the ears. I'll die cut out with this fog cardstock. And then for my collar, 
I thought we'll do, add a little bling a ling. So I have some silver glitter cardstock. This one's not from Spellbinders. This one's from Ulta New. I, I like how it looks like diamonds. So I'll die cut this out along with a couple of flowers. And then I'll die cut out the, bo um, the bone tag with the glitter cardstock. And I'll also die cut it out with red cardstock. Okay, we have this piece here it goes to the eyes. We'll put that on our fog. And that's all we're doing with this die set. Remember this one, we're gonna die cut out the collar, the dog bone collar with red, okay? I thought we would have our little pug wearing some glasses. So cute, and I'm, I'm partially the smaller ones. So we'll die cut that out with some glittery cardstock. We'll make some like Elton John glasses with with that and then I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a Christmas pug or not um, but just in case I'm going to die cut out this holly leaf with some light and green cardstock here and then that's all that we're using with the um, accessories die okay I have some die cutting to do but I think it's going to be so cute um, I'll be right back Everything is all die cut out. This is my card base with the, his head chopped off. Okay, oh how cute is this is. It's going to be a cute little card. Can you imagine this sitting on a desk? I just think it's going to be so fun. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the front of my card just using my tape runner. Okay, layer that so our our doggy is nice and whole. This is what the back looks like. Okay. And then with these pieces, the extra white pieces and the light gray, I'm going to bring in my craft mat. We're going to do a little ink blending with these. I want to add a little bit of dimension and I'm bringing in a gray ink. This is Pink Brush Studios Rocky Slope. What we're going to do is pick up some ink and I'm going to do a little shading. That's all the shading that we're going to do. Let's go ahead and put this aside. We're going to add, I think I'm going to add a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to flip this over and we're going to add some foam squares behind here. I think this is going to be very easy to put together. Okay, I'm going to take this piece first add some adhesive. I'm not going to add um, foam tape behind here. This we're just going to layer. I'm going to layer this and then I'll take this piece and we'll go ahead and layer this. And then with this piece we're going to pop up and we'll go ahead and add this.
Now I would like I would like some glasses like this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add a little glue to our pug's nose, and we're gonna tack down our glasses. I'm gonna use the pug's nose as a landing area. Okay, <laughs> let's finish up our collar next. I'm gonna do some heat embossing with the collar. And that's where our stamp set's going to come in. There's a hello in here that will fit perfectly on our, our, um, our tag here. Let's flip it around. I'm going to grab hello. I'm going to emboss, so I'm going to treat my tag with some powder. and using acrylic block. And I'm gonna use some white pigment ink to stamp my hello. This way I know where I'm gonna stamp. Go ahead and stamp this. I'm gonna use my tweezers and then we'll dip this in some white embossing powder. And I'll use my heat gun and we'll melt it. Okay, and then I'm going to layer these two together with glue. I'm going to offset it a little bit. I just want a little bit of that sparkle to shine through. So let's go ahead and kind of crisscross them a little bit. Okay. And we have this little piece for our little pugs. I'm going to use a black marker. I want this to be black. So I'm going to use my black Copic marker and just color this in. If you want to die cut it out with black cardstock, you could. But I think this is just as, what, just as nice. Okay. And I'm going to add some glue behind here. And we're going to add our little tag piece. Go ahead and tack that down. And then I'm going to use my tape runner. And we're going to attach our tags underneath. <laughs> okay, and then I think we need to do one more thing. And this will just finish it off. I mentioned my little my little poodle that I called honey okay what we're gonna do next is take some red and white twine this is from Spellbinders it's from Vivant it's on the thicker side but I love this for nautical cards and also for Christmas cards what I'm gonna do is tie a bow I'm just gonna adjust it okay I put glue dots at the top of the ears here and then I want to add my little bows <laughs> because you know I like texture on my cards and I think if this is going to be a cute little girl dog and we need some some bows okay and that will finish my card today. A cute little card that will just look adorable standing on the desk. It's kind of hard to see. But I think it'd be so cute on the desk. And of course, if you wanted to skip um, the holly, I think that would look cute even without the holly or even the glasses. I think this would be so cute. But how cute is this? <laughs> So that's my project for today. Thanks for joining me. Have a lovely rest of your day. I have more fun projects sharing with you. Have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for spending your time with me um, in the craft room. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.